Hi. In certain cases, you might want to use uh, pictures, files that come uh, that sit in a library related to certain records in your uh, Salesforce org. For instance, in this case, I want to get the avatar related to my users uh, uh, on my document. So there is a small picture here. That's the avatar that I'm going to use. And depending on the user uh, alias in this case, I want to show the, uh, the avatar. Now, this uh, image has a certain name. So it has an, uh, a title and the title is the alias of the user, but it has a prefix like this one, avatar. It can be anything, you can choose it, you will see it in the uh, in the setup. Uh, for instance, it can be a signature, it can be an avatar, it can be any kind of uh, picture that you would like to introduce into your document. Okay, so now we know how to do the setup of the files and the, uh, the library. Now let's take a look at, for instance, an example. In this document, I have my opportunity and I want the avatar of the opportunity owner sitting in my uh, document. So how do I start for that? First of all, I need to get, of course, some uh, data sources and I'm gonna start from an uh, opportunity. So let's take one of the opportunities that I have here. Let's go for this one. I have a lot of uh, data sources, as you can see. And I need to make sure that my alias of my uh, owner is there. So I'm just quickly going to open up the, uh, the Stockle Builder and I'm going to select the fields owner. Follow the relation on that one and make sure my alias is added as well. Okay, that's now added. I can now uh, safely save my query and I'm going to use this opportunity uh, to select uh, my data and also link to my alias. Next, I need a picture data source. So when we are going to select the avatars here that we need, might be a list and then you have uh, multiple, we need to put them into a picture data source. So what I have next, what I have created here is just, uh, if I search for library, I have a picture data source that you can just create. But this picture data source, it will not fetch any pictures. As you can see, it's linked to the parent data source via the ID, that's uh, all fine. And uh, it's link linked to the attachments. It doesn't matter to which is linked. What we're actually going to use this for is to, uh, via our actionable, get the pictures inside this uh, library picture data source. Now, uh, the image name has to make sure it cannot select any images. So for this case, the, the, uh, uh, the data source will be just a dummy data source. So we can put in anything here that we are sure that it will not select anything. Okay, so it's a dummy data source. Now I have to go to my doc config. I'm gonna go, I have already prepared the doc config and I'm gonna add an actionable. The actionable we have installed for our uh, library files. So this is an actionable you can get via our support department. And when you open it, uh, we're gonna do it is, we're gonna call this the uh, library image files, for instance, the class to use. The class will be this one and we will put it of course in our uh, academy. So you can just copy paste it from there. The when is already pre-filled make sure it is uh, active. Okay, the library name is, uh, in this case, avatars. Okay, uh, the library uh, source, data source is the opportunity. So that's where we're gonna get the information uh, to know how to connect to the library, uh, how to get the information from the library. Now, next up is the API field that we need. So that's the uh, the field that we know uh, will be part of uh, the name of our image in the library. So in this case, it's uh, owner alias. So, okay, let's copy that one and paste it here. Uh, the library na file name prefix. Okay, I discussed about that earlier already. So this is just the, uh, uh, the prefix that we have uh, right here. So, I'm just copy this part here. 
you can name this anyway uh, anything you want of course it doesn't have to be uh, avatar of course it can be signature or any uh, one that you need so ours doesn't have a suffix means that there is no part after the uh, the library um, and then there is the uh, target uh, um, the target data source so that's where the the pictures will be stored and this is uh, library image files okay now this is all set i can save this and now it's already linked to our doc config so next up is of course setting up our doc config and i've already opened it right here my document is already attached so uh, that was uh, this document i have only uh, two items here that's the uh, opportunity owner and of course i have my uh, picture that i want to uh, select so let me now make sure that this is actually a pdf butter picture so this is gonna be my avatar that's gonna sit here okay i'm gonna save so the picture is now set our opportunity owner is set so let's uh, let's see how we can use that i'm gonna upload my uh, um, i'm gonna re-upload my document now for the change okay that one is uploaded and now save uh, First of all, our data sources. As you know, I have a lot of data sources in this uh, environment. So, um, so let me select the data source that I need. It was opportunity. Yeah, this is the one and okay. And then this one had the child data source for the, uh, the pictures that I wanna do. It's the library and that's the library image files. Okay, everything looks perfect. So now the config types. This is opportunity owner as the first one. So um, opportunity, and then I'm just gonna do the owner name, why not? Okay, and next up is of course our picture, which is in this case called avatar. So I'm gonna use that one. It's of type uh, picture, as you could guess and it knows that there is only one picture data source so this one is selected automatically and of course i don't want to get any uh, screwing on the uh, on the image so i'll say that the uh, the height will be fixed so the width of the picture can just uh, dynamically change okay that should be it save to server now next up is we have to test this for testing i go to my opportunity on the opportunity, I have of course already added my library files here. And now if I click the button, then normally you see that of course the owner is there and my avatar is there. So if I go and look at my files, I can see that this is the exact avatar that I need. And now if I change the owner of my opportunity to for instance, uh, another user here at the integration user, okay, change the owner. And if I now generate my document, if everything goes fine, I would see the right avatar. So for the integration user, I need to see, I need to see this one. And of course, as you can see, perfectly fine. My integration user is now also using the right avatar. So if I quickly change it back to Igor, so that's me change the owner and I regenerate it, it will use the right avatar again. Well, that's it.